All right, I'm out here at my persimmon tree. I'm going to take a quick break. I wanted to show you through the trees. I don't know if you could see that. Now I made a uh, video a while ago and my quality came out so poor that uh, my husband said it was the worst video he ever seen. So I took it down. Um, but I'm going to take my trimmers and get in here and trim this out real quick so I can get back there easier. Um, I did pick three persimmons earlier in the year uh, that had critter damage and I'm hoping that these don't have critter damage but my uh, my thought process is I want to freeze them to make some jam or jelly or whatever I will get a recipe for something and make something out of them so um hi how are you doing welcome to Sherry's Plants uh, be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm back and you can see I did some uh, trimming in here. And my videos are always what I'm doing and not a how-to video. So my original intent was to cut off branches like this one. And I did take some berries. I'm going to take some beauty berries also for beauty berry jelly. Uh, I let it get late in the season for that, so I don't know if I'll have um, as many as I would like. But my intent was to chop everything up like this in small pieces to put under the persimmon tree. But my, um, my cutters are jammed up, and uh, they need sharpened and oiled and... Uh, stuff like that so I couldn't get as much cutting down of these items as I would have liked to so I'm going to take those when I'm done picking the persimmons and put them up underneath the tree I might even put that big one up underneath there even though it's not cut up like I like it but um, it is what it is so I wanted to come in here and show you um, this is a Fuyu persimmon tree. Let's see if I can get closer. And this, if you've ever had an astringent uh, persimmon, this is nothing like that. This is something uh, a whole lot better. Uh, looks like some tried to taste it there. They're still a little hard, but from what I understand, if you sit them on the counter, they will um, they will ripen up. And then once they get ripe, I'll either freeze them or make jelly out of them that day. But um, so, but if you've ever had an astringent persimmon, they're the ones that like suck the saliva out of your mouth. They're awful. And um, they're also called American persimmons. And I have one of those trees over there. But it hasn't created any persimmons yet. Um, I might use it for rootstock and put some limbs of this tree on that tree. Um, also, over here, a little tree grew next to it. And I'm not 100% sure if that's persimmon or not. But I think it is, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it only was about three years I planted it in here in a big pile of mulch and uh, I had persimmons. I already picked three this year um, due to uh, squirrel damage. So um, it, they had holes in them so I fed them to my chickens. But um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pick these here in a second and I just want to get maybe this will be my thumbnail I just love the pretty color of orange they are and it's sort of an ornamental tree so um, but you should try a Fuyu persimmon or a non astringent persimmon if you've never tried one because it's a whole different ball game than the uh, ones that grow wild 
anyhow hang on a second and I'll get these picked and show you what I have be right back so um, I did make a different ending to this video but it it didn't come out quite right so um, I did wind up with 13 persimmons and here's a good look at them. Now, um, you could also make wine out of about any fruit. And the thing is, when you start homesteading, um, everything costs money, you know. So, um, I, I'll be looking into thrift stores and, and uh, stuff for some wine-making items and also when I process these I will make sure to save any seeds now I've gotten seeds out of them before they are sort of a hybrid so I do, do not think they go true from from seed and even though these um, skins are a little yucky like that it doesn't really matter it doesn't change the flavor um, a bit and uh, chances are we will be peeling the skins off of these in order to make something anyhow I just wanted to come back and say bye and thanks for uh, visiting my channel and I hope you come back soon and do you have any persimmon trees do you have any persimmon recipes um, and I've seen a lot of people that are overwhelmed by the idea of homesteading. And so am I. So, so you know, somewhat. And what I try and do is um, I've been trying to harvest when the harvest is good. And um, see what products I can create with the harvest. Use them for animals if they're not human edible. Um and uh, go from there. Try all the different things that you can. Maybe I can cut one up and put it in a salad. Um, they look like tomatoes almost. Isn't that kind of interesting? Anyhow, um, so I just wanted to come and say uh, uh, bye and a happy November. And... Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe. All the good things. Have a fantastic day. Bye. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.